I've been sad some of the day and um, remembering back on the day and uh, praying for the families. It's been one year since a church potluck turned deadly. The St. Stephen's Episcopal Church community tells us they are still healing after the shooting deaths of church members Jane Pounds, Sharon Yeager, and Bart Rainey. ABC 3340's Bobby Portavent spoke to church leaders today before a special service for the victims and survivors. It's been one year since three St. Stephen's Episcopal Church members were killed during a violent shooting at a church potluck. Church Rector John Burris reflects on the one year anniversary. I don't know how I'm feeling. <laughs> By his side is Glenda Curry. She is the Bishop of the Episcopal Diocese of Alabama. Oh, I would say a lot of healing. Yeah. I would say an awful lot of healing. I think just their ability to be here and to be with people is a sign of healing. Yeah. Um, and all of the things that have come out of the loss. Yeah. It doesn't mean they don't have more to do. Uh, I think for the families today must be very, very hard. A church service was held Friday marking the one year anniversary. Our cameras were not allowed inside for the service. The service was streamed live on the church's YouTube page. Do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. The word of the Lord. Burris says the passing of Jane Pounds, Sharon Yeager, and Bart Rainey has changed his views. He says love will continue to carry the church. If three people's love of Jesus and of all of his children could so profoundly change this community, imagine what will happen when we all share their faith and love too. For their lives, for their love, and to know that the kingdom is a little bit closer. We give thanks to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Bobby Portavent reporting. Tonight's service was open to the public and Abrera says that he's grateful for the love and support they've received from the community. Robert Finley Smith, the shooter, pleaded guilty last month to three counts of capital murder. He will serve life without parole.